Since Easter's coming up, I want to show you a really cool way that you can insert patterns into your designs. Um, you can use this for print and cut, or if you want to do cards that you're going to be sending out, or if you are using like a printable iron-on type material to make a shirt or something. This is really fun and something else that your Silhouette program also does. I'm just going to go ahead and type out Happy Easter. And I'm going to change the font to Fatty Cakes. We'll do rough. We can do, let's see what else we have here, smooth. And then over here on the right-hand panel, you have one, two, three down, the fill panel. We're gonna open up the fill panel. Normally your design will be filled with a color. Now you can access the colors right here in the fill panel. You can also access them up at the top left-hand side of your screen. You have the fill color and the line color. So right now this is red. We're going to change the line color to a black. But I do want to show you, if you have some personal patterns, how to bring them into your Silhouette Studio and how to use them on whatever you're designing. So we're just going to go over to Library. I have a folder here called Patterns. I'm going to right-click and do a new folder because I have some patterns that I bought from Font Bundles and they are called Pitter Patterns. There's actually quite a few of them and I just want to add those into this folder. So into Pitter Patterns right here and this particular one has a catalog for each pattern that is offered in this bundle. So basically you can look and see depending on what you're looking for exactly which folder you need to look in. So we're just going to go over here to the folder one and this is the new folder. This is patterns. I created this new folder, Pitter Patterns, and you can see it's blank over here. And I want to import these patterns into that folder. So if I just hit Command A, I'm selecting them all, and I'm just going to drag this over here and drop it. And now they're all importing over here, and it just takes a second for this to go, and then they'll be ready for us to use. So I'll just speed up this part of the video. Okay, so now you can see that we have all of those patterns imported. Now you don't have to do this because as you import a whole bunch of stuff in Silhouette, it will slow it down. So you may go through and just figure out the ones that you really love that you'll use all the time and import those or just keep them in a separate folder like I have here on my external hard drive. And when I need to use them, I just go in and drag and drop one from this folder, which I'll show you in just a moment. So let's just say that we have it here. We're going to go back over here to design and we have Happy Easter. So we're still in this third panel down, which is our fill panel. And if you move over to the right where the dots are, these are your patterns. So if you scroll down here, you'll see this is the folder we just created, the pitter patterns. So when we select our word and then we click on the pattern, it fills the word with that pattern. And you're able to go into the advanced options and actually scale the pattern, you know, to make it bigger or make it smaller. You can move this little cross here and actually move the pattern around so you're able to see particular parts of the pattern if that's what you need to do. Um, a good, let me see if I have anything in here. Let's just say if we did like this arrow and let's scale it up a bit and say that we want this part, the actual arrow to show on the T. So if we click the pan pattern and we move it around, then you can actually put it exactly where you want it to be. So that's what that option is for. Okay, so let's just go back over here and select another pattern. Now what I'm gonna do is when you fill it this way, it fills your whole entire word. But let's just say you wanted to mix things up a bit. What you can do is hit ungroup. So now all your letters are separate. And at this point, you're able to click on a letter and then click a pattern and it will actually go and fill just that letter with that pattern. Glitter, if you wanna do like a mock-up with glitter, you can import glitter into your Silhouette Studio and then you can make it look like it's glitter on top of your design that you're making. I did tell you I was gonna show you one more thing. So if you didn't actually import the fill pattern into your Silhouette Studio and you're just using it off of your external hard drive, if you're able to go over here, let's just go into a different folder and say we pick this one, you can take it and just drag it over to your words and it will fill it.
So if you want to fill it all at once, then make sure that you import it into your Silhouette Studio. Let me see if this is the deal. Yes. And if you want to do them all separately, then you're just going to drag and drop. And wherever it's sitting is where it will drop. So you can see if I haven't let go yet and I'm moving it around as it goes into each letter, it's just filling that particular letter. Okay, guys, hope you learned something new today. Let me know if you have any questions. And I look forward to seeing what you guys create.